Hey there, Aries. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of September of 2021. Yes, thank you all so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, the roles could be reversed here as we could be talking or speaking with a cross watcher. So just keep in mind that however things fit with you, however anything resonates for you, just place it in your life as it fits naturally. Yes, whether the roles are reversed or not. If you guys would like a private reading or a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All of the information can be found in the description box below. Also, if you would like to support us over on Patreon, join the unicorn herd over there and get some extra monthly messages, you are more than welcome to do so. Check us out, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The links can be found in the description box as well. All right, Aries. So let's get into your pre-shuffle energy. So I feel like during this time period, okay, uh, of whenever this resonates for you, I feel like you are, you are the, the, the operative word here or the main phrase that I'm hearing here is driven, okay? You have the chariot at the bottom of the deck. Underneath the chariot is the nine of wands. Underneath the nine of wands is the king of cups. So um, this is all, so I, I feel like you're driven and you're driven because you're in alignment, okay? The chariot. It feels like you've been taking a lot of time to figure out who you are, um, to find ways to trust yourself and to trust the process. However, in terms of that, Aries, I feel like that was more of an, a universal effort. I feel like a lot of what you've experienced up until this moment in time, whether this be in September or whenever this resonates for you, you've been going through an experience, uh, uh, experience, uh, uh, and, um, Oh gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, an extended, X period, that's weird. Extended period, there we go. You've been going through an extended period of getting into alignment, learning to trust yourself, learning to trust the process, learning to trust the universe. And thus, that is what has gotten you into this overall energy of being in the chariot. And because you're in this energy of the, of the chariot, and because you've got, been able to cultivate this awareness and this sense of stability within yourself and also this trust in yourself and trust in the universe that's got you in this nine of wands energy of perseverance the nine of wands feels very positive for you aries there's a lot of optimism within you uh at this time associated with this nine of wands energy which is a good thing because sometimes or most of the time the nine of wands can represent persevering yes but maybe sometimes having a little bit of a lack of faith in that perseverance, but not you he, here, uh, Aries. I feel like I just wanted to say Taurus. You you might be vibing with Taurus right now. You might want to watch the Taurus reading, um, but I just feel like there's a lot of hope and optimism in this level of perseverance. And then finally, you have the King of Cups, and that's also where this hope and optimism is coming in from. And it's coming from a state of emotional stability. King of Cups, being able and willing and able, I want to say, to weather the storm, maybe even finding yourself within the eye of the storm of your creative process or of just life, right? And being able to weather that, staying emotionally stable and solid. This is a very good thing, Aries. Now, what you have here on the table in terms of your pre-shuffle is the Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. So what this is saying to me here is that you're embarking on a new adventure. You're developing something new. I'm also hearing a training process, Aries. There's some sort of training that you are going through. Some of you are actually leaving this training process, okay? So the training process that we're referring to here could actually be part of the process that's helped you get into this chariot energy to begin with. Your divine alignment is what I want to say here with the chariot. has helped you get into this space of being driven, all right? Now, so you have the page of pentacles. So you're embarking on a new endeavor, on a new journey, maybe a new creative process. Uh, maybe you're developing something new, bringing something new into tangible existence. Or uh, you're in a training program or a training process. This could be universal training in terms of like learning how to work with the creative energies of the universe. Or you may actually be in some sort of physical educational training process. For some of you, I'm feeling like you're get you're you're working on get, gaining some sort of trade certification. For others of you, this could you be going. This could be you going back to school, like university. Uh, 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 somehow, maybe a master's, maybe getting your master's degree, maybe getting your doctorate, whatever. Uh, anything like that, okay? It could be. And with the Seven of Cups here, this is like 
the open ending open ended excuse me the open ended opportunities or possibilities here especially since you're at this you're in this training process or you're at the beginning or preliminary phases of whatever new is manifesting or you are actively creating in your life one last card here that has come out face down it is the 5 of swords but aries it's funny because I'm definitely getting a sense of your energy here with this Five of Swords. If anybody was willing to pop off and and really like just get into some sort of meaningless fight or argument, it would most likely be an Aries. Just <laughs> no shade, no offense. It's just it's just natural. It comes natural to you. Keep in mind, Aries is mo is ruled by Mars, which is the the god of war. Okay, so like if anybody's gonna go to war. It's most likely going to be an Aries at first, maybe even a Scorpio, because Scorpio is ruled by Mars as well. But honestly, Aries, I feel like this Five of Swords energy is past energies for you. I feel like you have given up the fight. There was something that you were stubbornly fighting for or fighting against. I don't even want to dive too much into that because that just feels like a frivolous energy. And I think that, I think you know that. What I just heard is it's a frivolous energy and you know that. And that's why you're letting go. You're dropping your sword. But you're dropping your sword or this crusade that you may have been on in the past in service of getting into alignment with what it is you truly want. Like for some of you, you may have been fighting against the establishment or a group of energies or a group of people maybe just to prove a point and okay i get that but what i feel like is happening now is some of you may actively still be trying to prove to prove a point but you're going about it in a very different way it's like you're using your talents your energies your mindset to instead of directly oppose someone or something an institution or whatever it is you were fighting against Instead, it's like you're instead you're you're almost like you're walking your talk. You're good. You're 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 for some of you, you're about to do something in your own way that does have a twinge of fine. I'll prove it to you. But it's not you're not going about it in the same combative or maybe even destructive way. This time or whatever it is you're going with now is in greater alignment with you, which means that that's probably going to bring you some greater success. And you may, what you may have been fighting against, Aries, may have been uh, part of you or part of your existence or part of whatever it is you've been meaning to manifest or you came here to manifest to begin with. But the way you were going about it was almost like a direct affront to others, and that was not going to get you anywhere other than greater resistance, greater destructive energies or anything like that. So now, instead of... It's, it's like you're still proving something or you're still trying to create something for some of you, but you're doing it now from a greater sense of personal alignment. And with that comes, maybe comes the mindset of not really caring whether you prove it to someone else or not. You're just finally getting into real focus in terms of what it is you want to do and allowing that to happen however it happens naturally. Yeah, look, judgment. What judgment is saying to me here, Aries, is that you do have some sort of higher calling or some sort of life purpose or something that is in direct alignment with your soul or whatever your soul is calling you towards. And yes, that may have been a topic of contention between you and other people and you may have been fighting for that, but I think what you realized here, Aries, is that the way that you were fighting for it in the past was purely destructive and combative and that wasn't going to get you anywhere. And what I'm feeling now is that whatever it is you're going towards, whatever it is you're manifesting or working towards now, is in greater alignment with your soul at this time. And that's going to bring you greater success and greater ease at that success, right? So, like, think about it this way. You were working towards something that you, yes, technically was in alignment with you, but you were going about it in a way that was just creating more resistance within you or maybe within others or maybe just within the, the situation itself as a whole. But now you're still working towards that same goal, okay? But again, it's in greater alignment and that's what's going to bring greater success and greater ease in that success because now you're working with the flow. You're working with the universe, I'm hearing, instead of just trying to be a direct upfront. <laughs> okay, Aries, I like that. 
I, what I just heard is some of your sub, some of your stubbornness has subsided. But that comes from you getting into a greater alignment with yourself, with your higher self specifically. All right, Aries? That's beautiful. So let's get into the rest of this here for you. I'm not going to take anything else. Well, that's the Knight of Swords, but okay. I'm not going to take anything else. Let's get into the rest of this here. So I'm going to give this five shuffles for you. And we'll see what we have for the rest of your month. Yeah, or the messages for your month. This is one. For my Aries, sun, moon, and rising, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising sign, guys, for a complete picture as to what could be going on for you during this time period. This is two for Aries for the month of September 2021. This is three. This is four. And this is five. All right, Aries, let's cut the deck, the deck here. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Aries. We have justice. And the first thing I heard with this, Aries, excuse me, is in alignment. You're in alignment now. And that's what's going to balance out your situation. That's what's going to balance out your karma, I'm hearing. Because you were, there was a, there was a destructive energy here, Aries, and I understand what it is you were fighting for. I don't know what you're fighting for specifically, but I can feel the energy and I understand that, yes, you have been justified. It's just that how you were going about it was creating more resistance and was only perpetuating more karma, okay? And, and yes, you were meant to be fighting for this on behalf of this all along, but it's your approach that was causing you drama and chaos. But now you've gotten into greater alignment with how the universe wishes to work this out. For some of you, you've accepted the... Why did I just hear responsibility? Okay, you've accepted responsibility for the fact that you were trying to change others. But what you've come to terms with, or what you've come to an understanding of, for some of you, is that you don't have any control over anybody else. You can't, no matter how much you argue, no matter how much you, 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 you wrestle, you can't change someone's mindset for them. They have to experience it for themselves to come to their own conclusions, okay? And that's where some of you were getting caught up in some sort of karmic mess, but now you have justice. And I don't, I, I, I'm not trying to sit here and say, Aries, that, you know, there's any sort of, uh, uh, windfall of bad luck that's going to fall upon anybody that opposed you. It's all going to work out universally. And I'm hearing karmically, okay? Everything is going to work out now that you're in greater alignment and you don't have to worry about that. The karma is going to be smoothed out. Underneath justice, well, there you go. There's the five of swords again. Underneath the five of swords is the ace of swords. And then back to judgment underneath that. Okay, higher calling is definitely involved here. But what I feel like Aries is now you are coalescing with the universe and working in tandem with the universe instead of trying to do this all on your own or being a massive affront to other people's realities. Okay, you have the five of swords with the ace of swords, the five of swords. Again, this is that moment where you recognize or you realize that you're going about this in, an all, in all the wrong ways. This is only creating more drama more chaos, more loss, more pain, more injury to yourself and to others involved. Okay. Excellent. I like this, Aries. So, we are going to get into the rest of your reading here. First half and second half of your reading. The first half of your reading is going to look at the past energies up until the present. And then the second half of your reading is going to look at the present energies off into the future. Yes? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, in the first half of your reading is the Five of Wands, chaos and confusion, fighting. I mean, this was a never-ending battle, Aries. There was always something that you or someone else could come up with as a rebuttal. This was just going to keep going on in perpetuity. And for some of you, that was part of what this Ace of Swords moment of realization was for you. It's like, I'm spinning my wheels over and over and over again. And either you're not listening to me or I'm not listening to you. And it's not getting us anywhere. 
Five of Wands is coupled with the Six of Pentacles. Interesting. So the Six of Pentacles represents balance. The Six of Pentacles is um, illustrated as someone of affluence or someone of riches or someone that has a have doling out to the have-nots. And the principle of the Six of Pentacles is that that which is given out is given to those who are in need. Like you get what you need. And nothing more, but also nothing less. And there's something about what I'm getting with this Aries Five of Wands and Six of Pentacles. There's something about, I want to say care and compassion, but it feels like having the consciousness of mind to give credit where credit is due. And, and what I'm feeling like here, Aries, is that there is a realization for you in the midst of this argument or this battle or this fight, somebody here, probably most likely you, I feel like it's you, recognize that there was an imbalance between give and take, whether that be on behalf of the people that you were standing against or whether that actually be within yourself or both, okay? And I feel like it was that realization, Ace of Swords, that helped you separate from the argument or from the battle. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, in the first half of your reading is the Six of Wands. Victory. Victory and public recognition. Public recognition. However, I feel like this Six of Wands is more of a personal victory. And what I'm feeling like here is, Aries, there is a level of relief for you when you recognize what was actually happening here, the, the constant turmoil that was being created, and the moment that you removed yourself from it was a moment of personal victory. Because that also could be a sign of strength. Of a strength in holding your ego back. But I'm also, on the other side of the equation, I'm also kind of feeling like somebody here also kind of took advantage of that and was like, look at this, this... weakling that's pulling out of the argument and then walking around like saying explaining that you know or they won or they're 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 keeping they're keeping up some sort of appearance but i feel like it was deceptive in a way that's that's okay whatever six of wands is coupled with the queen of wands now see this is really becoming a personal victory though for you aries because the personal victory was you finding your sense of alignment and then getting into alignment with that instead of just fighting, fighting, fighting for some or in terms of some like frivolous argument. And it may not, some of you might actually look at me and kind of get a little bit offended when I say it was a frivolous argument. But in hindsight or in essence, it was. And you see that now because the way you were going about it wasn't actually going to get you where you wanted to go. Instead, getting you where you wanted to go took you stepping back and getting into alignment with what it is that you're trying to achieve or accomplish instead of just fighting for it in maybe in some of a narcissistic way although i just heard that i don't know where that's coming from but take it as it resonates but that's why this is a personal victory for you or was a personal victory for you in the past okay your challenge in the first half of your reading aries is the three of cups public opinion hive mind energies collective consciousness there's a level of being on the outside of the of the group at this point i'm hearing you can't sit with us <laughs> um uh, but i just heard aries you're taking that seriously or you're taking that into account and you're recognizing how it's not a place that you want to be in but some of you are are struggling with that emotionally there is, there seems to have been a line that was drawn between you and some sort of group of people. You're standing on the outside now looking in and yet your perspective, your view is much better now that you're on the outside looking in. However, there are still some emotional, there are still some 
heartstrings of yours that are being pulled on because you're not a part of this group any longer. Three of Cups is coupled with the Ten of Pentacles. But you see, it seems, Aries, that you have learned the lesson within that group setting or that cycle, that experience has come to completion. But that's what makes this twinge of, gosh, I'm not part of the group. I'm not one of the popular ones. I'm not one of the cool kids anymore. That's what brings the grief of that to a minimum. Because you're understanding that while, yeah, you might be disappointed that you're not part of the in crowd any longer, you recognize the reason as to why you're not. And that's what makes it okay for you. That makes what makes it easier to deal with. That what That's what makes it easier for you to move on from this, right? But it's in the chat. It's in your challenge section because again, there are still some sort, some sort of emotional heartstrings that are being pulled on. In terms of this, but you'll get over that. Closing message or potential outcome, Aries, in the first half. In the first half of your reading, you have the Ace of Cups. Self love, unconditional love. I'm also feeling that you're holding unconditional love for the collective, which is a good thing. The Ace of Cups is coupled with the Ten of Wands. Okay, so Aries, like I said, I'm feeling like you're holding some sort of uh, unconditional love for the collective. And I think, I feel like what this Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups is representing for you in the closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading in regards to the past up until the current moment. I feel like you've come to the understanding that of or that whichever is grammatically correct, you've come to the understanding that you catch more flies with honey than vinegar. Although I feel like, I feel like, you know, the comedian in me is just like, but wouldn't you catch more flies with shit than honey? But, <laughs> but like, okay. But you get what I'm saying. Instead of Instead of carrying the burdens of the fight that you were carrying before, you recognize that you have to release yourself of the situation and you help release others of the situation by compassion and understanding and unconditional love rather than being an affront to them. That And that ultimately has helped you release the burdens here. My, my, Aries. All right. Let's move forward. Second half of your reading, yes? So this is going to be the current energy off into the future. First set of surrounding energies for you, Aries. In the second half of your reading, you have the Eight of Swords, Confinement. I feel like at the current moment, Aries, you're recognizing how your own limited mindset has held you back. In terms of this situation or whatever it is you're fighting for or whatever it is you're working towards. I feel like you're recognizing how you were holding yourself in your own stasis field or your own um, confinement by the way you were approaching the situation on a mental level, mentally, or like on an on a intellectual level. Eight of Swords is coupled with... Ah, look at that, Aries. The Eight of Wands. So you literally went from... The, the, so that understanding helped you go from being in a closed mindset or a limited mindset to an open one. Beautiful. Look at that, Aries. From the Eight of Swords to the Eight of Wands. That's, that's excellent. That's excellent. And that's what's going to help you move forward. So what I'm also getting from this, Aries, is that you are using that sense of mental confinement from the past to actually help open the floodgates for the future. Help you open your trajectory to see clearer. It's like you're using that as a way to see more when you saw less in the past. That's awesome. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, in the second half of your reading, you have the Page of Wands, re-identifying yourself, changing the message, but also changing your approach to bringing that message to the collective. Okay, Aries, Page of Wands is coupled with the Wheel of Fortune. 
Okay, see, this is all a reflection, Aries, of how your change in approach changes the outcome. Where you're no longer in resistance, you're now going with the flow, and that's changing things. I'm, I'm feeling pretty drastically or dramatically here with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Changing your whole destiny here. Beautiful. Your challenge in the second half of your reading, Aries, is the Three of Wands. Your trajectory. Keep it going. Keep it pushing. How are we moving forward? Keeping your eyes on the prize, moving forward, where it is you want to go, how it is you want things to work out, what it is you're trying to manifest, and staying in alignment with that. Now that your vision is wide open, you have the ability to see more in terms of being in that greater alignment to get you, to get you where it is you're trying to go. That's the first half of your challenge. The second, uh, uh, your, your, the three of wands in your challenge is coupled with, ah, the king of pentacles. Very nice. Very solid, stable, sturdy, grounded. And when I say grounded, Aries, I really just felt that, that, that feeling of being grounded in what's necessary for you to get where it is you're trying to go. Being, up, being able to recognize what's going to help you or what's going to hinder you. And maybe if you don't know that right away, being intuitively open to the feeling of, ooh, okay, that may not, that may not help me at all. Being focused, being grounded. I like this, Aries. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Aries, in the second half of your reading. You have, ooh, there, we're back to the Seven of Cups. Okay, but I don't think the Seven of Cups is a bad thing, Aries, because this is just the potential outcomes of what could happen here as you move forward in the past. I'm sorry, in your path towards the future. Seven of Cups is coupled with the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so this is a very practical point of view for you, Aries. You may have a lot of different emotions to deal with. You may have a lot of different people's emotions to juggle or to handle or to deal with. Or you may just have a bunch of different ideas or different opportunities. Or you may have an awareness of how things could work out in a multitude of different ways. But in that energy, Seven of Cups, you are finding physical balance here. Two of Wands. For some of you, there are potential ways of doing things, of moving forward here. And what you're doing with the page, well, I'm sorry, with the two of pentacles is you're weighing those options and trying to figure out from this king of point, pentacles point of view, trying to figure out what the best course of action, what the best plan, what the best option would be. Again, Aries, I don't feel like this seven of cups, two of pentacles is a bad thing because this is a beginning. This is like a preliminary process or a preliminary part of the process, or this is just an element, a natural element of the beginning stages of this next phase that you're moving into. Okay. From a very stable, solid, groundy and grounded and sturdy place. Okay. Excellent, Aries. Let's close out your reading with uh, uh, Oracle Guidance from uh, the Crystal Mandala. Yes? Beautimus. Beautimus. All right, Aries. I'm going to give this four. Is adequate? Okay. We're going to give this four shuffles. For, uh, never mind. Your card came right out, Aries. It's card number 15, Archangel Raphael and Malachite. Grace for the grand gesture. For the grand gesture. Yes. That was cool. All right. So, let's read this here. We bring you the gift of grace for the grand gesture. Although there are times when even the smallest act, such as choosing to think a positive thought, is enough to transform your world, there also comes a time for a leap of faith, the grand gesture of unconditional trust that will free you from the past and empower the, un oh, I mean, empower the universe to gift you with a new future. The grand gesture is the big step, the willingness to say to the universe, quote, I trust you and I know it is time for life as I have known it to give way for a bigger, bolder experience 
and I am willing to allow you to lead me to it, end quote. You then make an offering which confirms your declaration and empowers the universe to reward the faith you have demonstrated. The grand gesture cannot be forced. If it comes from a place of, quote, should, unquote, or uncertainty, then you are not ready. The grand gesture must be unconditional. It must be something you offer, not for what you can get in return, although the rewards will be rich, but because you are willing to offer something of yourself in service to love. When it comes from this place, the grand gesture is a trigger for divine grace to express itself in your life in, ent in an entirely new way, surpassing all expectations and showering you with blessings. So there you have it, Aries. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so freaking much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye. Ha, <laughs>